Hey guys, it is Jacob here with a quick review of my leveling on the Erika 2. Like a few words for their leveling build. Leveling build felt great, was really fast. Uh, the only thing is like it felt squishy on some bosses, but yeah, I struggled through that. At this point it is... It was capable to clear the story in around two hours. And then I was leveling uh, in the last trove using my uh, XP balance pack spirits, like three of them. You can level up in the last trove pretty quickly to above level 70 easily. So I, I abused that. If you don't have the balance pets, just progress through the story and start mapping. That should do. <coughs> uh, the build has around 2 million damage now. And a few changes that I that I did, as you know from the previous videos, I prev I prefer like more speed rather than damage and survivability. So I've swapped a few like large passives here and there. But yeah, so this is the recommended build with the starters just max to get uh, maximum talent points for these two large ones. And this is pretty much the only thing that I like changed. Uh, more attack speed rather than more damage helps you get through the story faster. And here, more movement speed and additional damage if you've moved recently. Like you are moving all the time, so this is 35% additional damage rather than reducing the main and increasing the max. I'm not sure how this. Uh, works on Erika too yet. I have to like get more into her But this felt great during the story like 35% additional damage all the time is in my opinion better than Around 20 I guess From this yeah, so that's the only change early on. I was using more attack speed here But then I realized I need a little bit more regen so I've added this and I've put the rest of the points here and I've put the rest of the points uh, to this because I've dropped really crazy like uh, boots at around level 15 Cold Sanctuary prosthetics like they carry you through the entire story while you are just spiral striking around it kills everything like it gives you level 15 like Ring of Ice and Frostera and it, it gets triggered every second. <coughs> so this carried me through the entire story basically. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the second one they recommend is Blade Runner. And I followed their build. Did not want to think about it much. So yeah, here I'm getting the shadows first. I will be changing the build now for mapping. Uh, for the hero traits, <coughs> I did not even use anything here. I did not like, yeah, I did not get any. So that's for the next video. Hero traits, the recommended ones. Uh, for the items, this is all I dropped in the last trove, but a few things like the belt and the ring I got earlier, but the rest of the items is dropped in the last trove, so that helps you equip or, or uh, like improve your equipment before you get to mapping, so that helps you a lot. And that's it. So that's my review and skills. Skills, yeah. Thunder Spike, that's the recommended one. I added Shadow Will as last instead of Electric Overload because this increases the area. So it helps you with clearing the, the trove faster. Because like you cover more space as you are moving around. So that's why Shadow Will instead of the other one. Compound source, limber stretch for, mo for more movement speed, spiral strike, quick mobility, and hardened. You can drop the recklessness later on as you get more attack speed. Uh, burst of anger, more attack speed, more physique. Physique increases your like m melee range, 
melee skill range, so it helps you with clear as well. So this is what I changed from their recommended build. Their reco th they recommend fixate that just increases your damage. This increases your attack speed and physique. So yeah, and bulls rage, more damage, more skill area. And as I felt squishy, their first uh, skill you get on the passive side is thunder imbue. So use that definitely. Later on, I swapped that for thun summon thunder spirit to get even more attack speed. And later on, I took energy fortress because you get a lot of sources of uh, like regain in your passive tree, like this here, and these five points here. So, and you don't get much like energy shield from your gear yet. So getting some energy shield from the aura is great, helps you with survivability, survivability a lot because you can uh, you can regain life and energy shield simultaneously. So you are regenerating both and you also will use like rejuvenation aura to regenerate your HP. So yeah, more energy shield, survivability. Thunder imbue uh, gives you like additional lightning damage and shock damage. Erika scales with that, so that's your main like aura, I guess, even later on. And fearless increases your physical damage, I guess. Oh, crit and area, yeah. So that's fearless. And the last one, rejuvenation, as I said, regenerating your life is important because Erika damages herself as she deals damage. Because she shocks herself and she damages herself like continuously, and the life regain and energy shield regain helps with that, helps with sustain sustaining that, as you can see. So yeah, that's my Erika review uh, leveling so far. Next video will be Time Mark Seven mapping and onward. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!